My blackberry dump cake recipe is easy and delicious. This three ingredient cobbler is a quick and simple way to make a fantastic dessert to feed a crowd, especially if you're a beginner cook. I've already buttered my nine by 13 casserole dish, so let's go over the ingredients. You will need two 21 ounce cans of blackberry pie filling, one 15.25 ounce box of cake mix. I'm using white, I recommend either white or yellow, and two sticks of unsalted butter. I know that's a lot of butter, but we'll get to that. Those are the three basic ingredients for the dump cake, and you can just use those three and it'll be awesome. But I also suggest adding one and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I think it's going to bring out the berry flavor very well. I use some of the butter from one of the sticks to grease my pan. So just as the name suggests, all I have to do is dump my ingredients into the baking dish and then stick it into the oven. So the first thing, all I have to do is take my cans of blackberry pie filling and dump them into the baking dish. I am just gonna pour them in and then I'm going to use my spatula to smooth out the filling to an even layer and then I will bring you back. I just finished spreading out the canned blackberry pie filling. So before I put on the cake mix, I'm gonna take my lemon juice. Like I said, this is optional. All you need is three, but I think this is a good addition. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of the blackberry pie filling. I like to add lemon to berry recipes, whether it's a blackberry cobbler, strawberry cobbler. I think lemon just does a good job of bringing out berry flavor and it is no different with blackberry cobblers that I've done in the past. Just gonna try to distribute it as evenly as possible. Now I'm going to take the spoon and not mix it in, but just distribute it a little bit more evenly. The one and a half tablespoons, maybe one tablespoon, somewhere between one and one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Now that the lemon juice is added, it's time to dump the cake mix over the filling. So all you have to do is take your bag of cake mix and just shake it over the top as you go back and forth so that you can distribute the cake mix evenly. Like I said, I'm using a 15.25 ounce box of white cake mix. I recommend white or yellow because those are the most neutral flavors, but I think lemon would be good. I think strawberry would be interesting. A spice cake mix might be interesting. I even think a chocolate might be interesting. I've heard of chocolate with berries, so. If you make this dump cake at home and you use a different type of cake mix, please let me know. Because I would like to know how it turns out. Now I'm gonna take my spoon and smooth out the cake mix. I am not pushing down. I'm not mixing it in with the blackberry pie filling. All I'm doing is just smoothing it out. And by doing this, I'm gonna break up some of the lumps and distribute it evenly. I'm sure you notice that the butter is no longer on the countertop. I put it back into the refrigerator because the next step is to cut the butter into small slices and it's much easier to cut butter if it is cold. So I highly recommend you keep your butter in the refrigerator until you're ready to work with it. Now it's time to add the butter to the dump cake. 
There are multiple ways of doing this, but the most popular way is to take your butter, cut it into small pieces, and lay those pieces on top of the cake mix. So here, this is what I'm doing. I'm just taking my butter. It's cold. Like I said, it's cold from the refrigerator. Just taking my knife and cutting it into very thin pieces. As thin as I can get them. Probably four to six pads of butter per tablespoon. Although this is a bit slow. I think this is a better way of doing it as compared to melting the butter and pouring the melted butter on top because if you do that you're bound to have some dry patches but if you do what I'm doing now and you cut the butter into small pieces and then you lay those pieces on top of the cake mix this butter is going to melt down and out and it's going to moisten all of the cake mix and the cake mix that you see here on top is going to turn into a crumble topping that's going to be buttery and crispy and crunchy very delicious I have had subscribers recommend freezing the butter and then grating it on a cheese grater you could do that but I forgot so I have to try that next time but like I said, most people when they make dump cakes, this is how they do it. They just cut the butter and do very thin slices and lay those on top. I am going to do this and then I will bring you back. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I just finished slicing the butter and putting the pads on top of the dump cake. I use all but two tablespoons of the two sticks, so quite a bit of butter. The pieces of butter, they're pretty close together, probably less than a quarter of an inch. You want them to be close so that you don't have any dry areas after the butter melts. But if you notice that they're too close to each other or they're too far apart, just take your knife and you can move them like that. So. This recipe is easy because it is forgiving. You can adjust a little bit as you go. Now my blackberry dump cake cobbler is going to go into a 350 degree oven for I'm guessing an hour, maybe a little bit longer. I'll let you know. My dump cake just came out of the oven. It was in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered for one hour. It looks and smells delicious. This looked and smelled amazing, so I couldn't wait to take the first bite. And when I did, I knew that my easy three ingredient blackberry dumb cake with cake mix and pie filling was delicious. As with all my other dumb cake cobblers that I've made here on my channel, the cake mix topping turned into a delicious crumble that was crispy, crunchy, and amazingly buttery. The canned pie filling on the bottom was soft and smooth, so there was a nice texture combination between the filling and the cake mix topping. Although canned store-bought pie filling is never as flavorful as making your own cobbler filling from fresh or frozen blackberries, I honestly thought that the filling was pretty flavorful. Even though I couldn't pick up the lemon flavor in the finished cobbler, I think it definitely helped to bring out the blackberry flavor. So even though you definitely can make this cobbler with just three ingredients, I highly recommend adding a little bit of lemon juice because it's one of those small touches that's going to help your store-bought canned blackberry pie filling taste homemade. One thing I wanted to point out in this recipe is that in comparison to the other dump cakes I've made, especially the cherry dump cake, I felt like this one was not as excessively sweet. Blackberries are fairly tart, so honestly, I was expecting this cobbler to turn out a little bit more balanced. So if you've made a dump cake in the past and it was a little too sweet for you, this one is the one to try. And even though the flavor of the butter in the crust was very strong in this dump cake, just like all the others, I honestly felt like the fruit flavor came through a bit better than in some of the other versions. 
So like I said, if you've made dump cakes in the past and they were too sweet or you felt like they were just too buttery and didn't have enough fruit flavor, give this one a try. Overall, I was very pleased with how my blackberry dump cake recipe turned out, but I did want to mention one small critique. If you watch my channel, you know that I've made a lot of blackberry cobbler recipes, so I like blackberries in general, I like their tartness, I like everything about them. However, one thing that kind of surprised me about this dumb cake is that I did not like the seediness of the filling. Like I said, I've made a lot of blackberry recipes in the past and I'm used to their seeds, but for some reason I wasn't expecting the seeds in this cobbler and if you've never made a blackberry cobbler or a blackberry dump cake before, the seeds might be a bit off-putting. There definitely were not as many seeds in this as in a normal blackberry cobbler, but like I said, for some reason I just found them odd. I guess it's because I've never made a dump cake with seeds before. So that's just something to keep in mind. But like I said, this easy three ingredient blackberry dump cake recipe was definitely a success. As I said at the beginning of the video, this cobbler would be perfect for feeding a crowd since it makes a 9x13 pan and it would also be good for beginner cooks who don't want to roll out pie crust or make the cobbler filling from scratch. Although the fruit filling is good, I think the best part of a dump cake is actually the cake mix crumble on top. As I said while I was putting this cobbler together, it's amazing how while the cobbler is baking, the butter melts down and into the cake mix and turns it into a crispy, crunchy, buttery crumble. If you're looking for a good dessert to say farewell to summer, or if you're looking for an easy dump cake cobbler for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any time, definitely give this one a try. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.